Welcome back to my channel. Today we're making cornhole from a palette. If you're new here, I'm Rose and this is my daughter Addison. And here we love to DIY, design, decorate, using space saving techniques to organizing your closet, your bedroom, your house, whatever, to makeup tips, makeup cleaning tips that are so easy you wish you'd thought of it sooner, to building a chicken tractor, to improving the curb appeal with these cute planters. I've made bow holders and pegboards and all sorts of cute jewelry organizers with tutorials to go along with it. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe so you can see more fun content and videos like this. Back to cornhole, let's look at the supplies we need. Four to six pallets, a chop saw, and a table saw because you may need to rip down one side. And you need two and a half inch screws intended for outdoor use, a screw gun, a speed square, and lots of pallet wood for the top. And when you disassemble a pallet, you get these two by threes, which were the studs underneath the pallet. It's okay that they have notches in because you won't really see it. Now here's the pattern I found on Pinterest and it's about a four foot by two foot. Now it's time to cut wood. So these are three by one and a half. And so when I actually measured them out according to the plans, the short side, which needs to measure 24 inches, you actually cut the wood to 21 inches to make it add up to 24 inches because you're going to put the long side and screw that into it. And so I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. Okay, so let's screw it all together. So you wanna lay a frame out on a flat surface. And I've just put it out on my patio here, laid it out. Uh, I'm going to start some of my screws. I'm gonna use my speed square, have my screws and my screw gun all handy as we put it together. We're going to check to make sure everything is square. Before we screw it together, I'm using one and a, or two and a half inch screws intended for outside use since we will use this outside you could play cornhole inside it's not a dangerous game so the pallet frame here are two by threes so we, we want to make sure your screw goes through that stud as well as into the next one which is why i'm using two and a half inch so i've started my screws and i am putting it halfway in checking for square and then screwing all the way in just like this and it worked just great. I had no problems. Now we have to install some cross bracing because if we don't do that, then it will not be as strong. And so that's gonna be another 21 inch piece for to fit inside a rectangle that we've already made. And this is what that looks like. And I actually did two cross bracing and depending on how you lay your pallet wood, you may need another one as well. But I did these 16 inches apart so that I have somewhere to nail to when I in install the top, which will look like a wood floor. So I'm gonna pin nail the wood with one and a half inch nails. So you wanna make sure you're nailing where you have a stud so that you don't have random nails sticking out. So you can see here, I started to sand and I'm using a belt sander, which may not be the best tool for this, but it wasn't leaving marks like I thought maybe it would. Um, my orbital sander, the compressor wasn't quite large enough to handle this. And so um, but this did a great job actually. So I have this one on the right unsanded and the one on the left sanded just one time and you can see the difference it's beautiful i actually like it unsanded too um so if you were going to put epoxy over the top then that would work and you wouldn't actually have to sand it okay so i'm using a jigsaw well look here i made an oops and so i'm going to show you how to not make that oops okay so let's look at our plans it says nine inches down to center and six inch circle um, and 12 inches across. 
So we are somehow going to make a circle. We have to do a little geometry, but I think we can do it. So if you measure 9 inches over, or 12 inches over and 9 inches down, and then use your word processor to get a blue circle, is what mine looked like, then you can draw it here like I have done. So I found the middle, made some marks of where the circle would be. I stuck the circle on there, drew a, a line. I also drilled some holes to make it easier on my jigsaw, cutting it out. But what did I do wrong here? As you can see, the wood did not want to come off completely. Okay, so while I did have cross bracing going across, I didn't have anything supporting these individual pieces of wood. And so you can see why it buckled a little bit. So what I had to do is go ahead and take some scrap pieces of pallet and form a frame underneath where you couldn't see and support that and make a little square. And I just pin nailed that on and I will show you what that looks like here in a moment. Love to DIY with wood? Check out some more of my videos and don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Okay, let's install the legs. So according to our plans, they are 12 inches long and that's from the top to the bottom. Okay, our pallet wood is a half inch thick. So I cut each leg out of a two by four and made it 11 and a half inches long. I have started my screws. I'm gonna place it in there and get it settled and I will screw it in there. Now it's secure, and I'm going to do that from both sides. Now it's time to sand again to remove any bumps. Okay, get a look at my circles. They look great. The jigsaw worked out just fine once I installed cross bracing. You can't even tell with the pin nails. And so, coming up next time, we will be filling in the cracks, adding varnish, so that it's nice and smooth, and ready to play with all of my family and friends and see who wins. So, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.